Hey everybody, welcome to Beaming Knots and today we're going to look at the poetic devices of the poem No Men Are Foreign, a poem by James Kirkup. Poetic devices, rhetorical devices, apostrophe. This rhetorical device is used when a poet addresses his or her poem to an absent audience. In this poem, the poet uses a device of the apostrophe as he addresses all his advice directly to his readers. Metaphor This rhetorical device is used when a covert comparison is made between two different things or ideas. In this poem, the poet uses the device of metaphor on the third line as he compares his fellow human beings with his own brothers. He again uses it on the sixth line when he compares war with winter since reduced resources are available at both those sides. He uses it for the last time in the 18th line when he compares wars with hell. Polysyndeton This rhetorical device consists in the use of several conjunctions in close succession, especially where some could otherwise be omitted. In this poem, the poet uses a device of polysyndeton on the fifth line where he writes sun and air and water, repeating the conjunction and unnecessarily. Transferred Epithet This rhetorical device is used when an emotion is attributed to a non-living thing after being displaced from a person, most often the poet himself or herself. In this poem, the poet uses the device of the transferred epithet on the sixth line where he writes the phrase peaceful harvests. It is not the harvests themselves that are peaceful, but peaceful social and political conditions that prevent a shortage of crops or famine and make harvests possible. Imagery The poem begins with an image of the past where the patriot is being welcomed back to his town with paths with roses and myrtles. The use of roses projects a positive picture as it symbolizes love. The heaving rooftops are evidence to the fact that the town is a very cluttered and crowded one. They create a contrast between the past and the present. The image of the crowded rooftops is juxtaposed with the image of the empty rooftops and roads. Rain acts as a negative agent as it creates a scene of misery and works in changing the mood of the poem. The patriot is walking through the town and is bleeding in pain. The reference to safety in God's abode ends the poem on an upbeat note as the imagery is of positivity and optimism.